Hey, what's up guys? Steve from Smoke Trails here. In this episode, we are going to make smoked chicken thighs. I got these chicken thighs on sale the other day. They are maple leaf prime. They are grade A chicken thighs. They're gonna be amazing. We're gonna smoke these guys up on the Masterbuilt electric smoker at 225 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours and they are going to be so good. So stick around, let's get smoking. Before we get started guys, just wanted to do a special shout out to a very awesome channel, Christie's Cooking Channel. If you guys are into southern cooking at all, or barbecue, or making really big food, then go check Christie's Cooking Channel out, it's amazing. The link is in the description to this video, go subscribe to her right away. She's an amazing YouTube creator, and she's making really good stuff. So on to the video, what you're going to need for this recipe is... Your favorite barbecue sauce, I am using Sweet Baby Ray's Original Barbecue Sauce. This sauce is the boss, says so right on the bottle, so it must be true. You're also gonna need some rub, so check out my rub recipe in the description section below. I just made this rub tonight and I put it in an old shaker bottle so I can evenly distribute it. So just make that recipe in the description section below and let me know what you think about it. You're gonna need some salt. Coarse grain kosher salt is the best. This is for grinding the chicken before we cook it. And you're also going to need some type of instant read thermometer so you can check the temperature of your meat. In this case, I'm using the Therm Pro, which I bought from Amazon. It's super simple to use. You just open it up like that and it's got an on off switch. It's in Celsius and Fahrenheit. It's got a switch over button on the back and it is super, super inexpensive. So check it out on Amazon, it works great. Get one for yourself. Here's a close up. And obviously you're going to need chicken thighs. So I got these chicken thighs on sale for 10 Canadian dollars. So inexpensive, I got these from Walmart. They're maple leaf prime, raised on Canadian farms. They're gonna be so good. There's about 11 in here, but cook as many thighs as you need. Okay, so the first step is to fill up a tub with 16 cups or one gallon of water. Take your coarse salt and get one cup of that. And pour that into the water. Now give that a stir until the salt is dissolved. And open up your chicken breast package and dump those puppies in. Oh boy, oh it's splashing. Now we're gonna put this tub in the fridge and we'll allow the chicken to brine for approximately one hour. Do not skip out on this step. Brining is super important to retain all that moisture in the chicken during the cook. She's got a chicken to brine. She's got a chicken to brine. Okay, it has been exactly one hour, so it's time to remove your chicken from the refrigeratorium and place it on the counter. Then you wanna start taking your chicken thighs out and putting them on a clean towel or paper towel in order to dry them off as much as possible. Okay, now it's time to apply the rub, so grab a baking sheet or another suitable kitchen device in order to catch the excess rub as it falls off the chicken. And one at a time, place the chicken onto the pan. Now, when you're applying the rub, you want to use an old shaker bottle with some holes in it. Makes it a lot easier and just shake it onto the rub as evenly as possible. Okay, now I like to wear disposable gloves when I'm patting down the rub onto any meat because it prevents the excess rub from getting stuck to your fingers. And it keeps the rub on the meat where it should be. Okay, put those guys on and we just gently pat the rub into the meat all right, there we go, put that on. Now we flip them over and apply the rub to the other side of the chicken. Now we're gonna put these guys in the smoker for two hours at 225 degrees Fahrenheit or until the internal temperature reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. When you take these out of the smoker, they should rise another five degrees for a final cooking temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, let's get these guys in the smoker.
Now, while you're waiting for your chicken thighs to smoke up, we wanna prepare the sauce. So I'm gonna take one medium-sized saucepan, throw it on the stove at medium heat. I'm going to take my Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and I'm going to dump it into the saucepan. Get all of that goodness out. Now, if your sauce is too thick, then you'll want to thin it out with water or Coca-Cola or beer. I'm going to use Diet Coke in this case because I'm watching my figure. There we go. And give it a stir. All right, these guys are done. So we're going to remove them from the smoker and bring them inside. Now dunk each chicken thigh in your hot barbecue sauce and put back in the smoker for another 15 to 20 minutes. All right, these guys are done. So we're gonna put them down here and take a look at what we got. Oh man, these look good. So let's take this one here. Oh man, put that on the chopping block. Look at that nice outer layer of sauce, nicely caramelized on. Give a cut into that thing. Oh yeah, there we go. Mmm. Oh. So good. So good, guys. This is amazing. Definitely try this recipe out. The smoky flavor of the cherry wood is perfectly balanced with Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Chicken's perfectly cooked. This is amazing. I'm going to dig into this right now. But thanks for joining us in this video, guys. Really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. See you on the trails. Mmm. Need some more of this.